I'm very honored to be here to honor Don Gambrell, old time mentor, friend, one of the greatest coaches I've ever worked with. Um, thank you, Don, for helping my career and being the most wonderful friend I've ever had. Thank you. Hey, Coach, it's Mike Pareto. Um, just wanted to say hello to you and, and, and wish you well. You look just like you did 50 some years ago. Um, swam for you for five years, as you know, some of the best years of my life. And uh, you were instrumental in getting me into the into, uh, University of Southern California to, to swim for the uh, other half of the two best coaches in the, in the country that I ever swam for. Uh, I'll never forget the first day that I came in and you looked at me and I think you were a little concerned that maybe I wasn't wasn't up to uh, what, what you were looking for at Swimmers at Rosemead. And then uh, I told you I was from Whittier High School and I swam Butterfly and you said, were you one of those guys that was in the B Butterfly? And I said, Coach, I was the guy that won it. And after that, you said, okay, you, you can come over. And uh, the next thing I know, Patty was there and uh, pretty much the rest of uh, the people that are here know about Patty and her success with you. But, uh, Hope to do this again with you when you turn uh, whatever your next visit to California will be, uh, whatever age it is. So, take care. Love you, Coach. Bye. And okay. whenever you're ready, go okay, for it. Okay, Coach. Hey, uh, listen, I'm so excited to be here because swimming's been such a big part of my life, and you have been a really big part of my life as well. So, anyway, a couple of thoughts. Uh, when I left Blue Boy and started swimming for you in the mid 60s, it was really a neat environment because you really promoted a sense of team. And for the first time in a very individual sport, I felt like I was part of a bigger organization and a team. But, uh, so thank you for that. The people in the background are some of my best friends. I'll always cherish them forever. And, uh, so, and here's my one special story. Uh, in my uh, freshman year, my father passed away. And that summer I decided not to compete and work out, so I, I went to work as uh, teaching swimming. And a couple of months before nationals, you called me, or I'm sorry, a couple of weeks before nationals, you called me up and asked me if I had been training. And I said, not really, but I've been in the water teaching swimming. He said, well, how would you like to go to nationals? I'll pay, pay your way. So anyway, I went to nationals, thanks to you. I scored in two finals, which is really uh, a big part exciting time uh, but I never really realized why you did that for me and so it's probably been 10 years ago I uh, you and I were talking and I asked you why and you said you know I just felt like going to the meet would help you stay connected to swimming and it was an important thing for you at that time in your life so anyway you're a lover coach so thanks so much there you go. Thanks. I'm Larry. Hi, Coach. This is Larry Miranda. I'm Mark um, Young. From Rosemary High School and the AAU team, 1960-64. Uh, uh, we swam for you at Rosemead. I'm George Helmer. I was on the swim club at Rosemead around 60, 61. Dan Sarah. We actually played football for Coach Campbell in our freshman year. And then he advised us to <laughs> make oh, it. He said, very good said to Dan, you guys aren't very good football players. Why don't you swim? Good. <laughs> anyway, we wanted to thank you for all, some, all, the, all the great life lessons that I'm just realizing you taught us after all these years. Hard work. Thank you so much. It stuck with us all these it years. Did, um, coach. I really appreciate it. And um, I think I mentioned you on the phone uh, maybe five uh, years or so ago. Because of swimming, um, I got into um, sprint triathlons. and. Um, even though I was never a fast swimmer, that event, well, for me, the swimming part was the best one. I, just, I would get ahead of everybody, and then they'd pass me in the biking and, and the running. <laughs> Still. But your workouts were, were brutal. I, I remember I lived across the street from the pool, and I remember after, the, after training, I'd walk across and collapse on the couch and forget dinner and wake up the next morning rare uh, going again in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then, um, yeah, it wasn't exactly, well, it was fun when we look back on it now, but swim workouts in the morning uh, with the club and then swim workouts in the afternoon with the team 
uh, it was kind of brutal to hit the books and try to get some homework done uh, with the chlorinated <laughs> eyes. Of course, you know, yeah, from all your swimmers. I, did, yeah. I didn't like taking the showers before getting in a pool. It was too too hard on my system. <laughs> <laughs> um, one one other, let's see. It's just a little story. I remember. Um, I think one of the highlights for me was. Um, I think when we were, maybe it was six, 1963, and we were swimming against Temple City, I believe. And you know, I was never much of a butterflyer, but for some reason, I swam butterfly, uh, and I did not take a breath the first lap, and did not take a breath the second lap, and I got first place. I think by a hundredth of a second, something like that. So <laughs> thanks, coach. <laughs> So have a great day. Yeah, and, uh, we really enjoyed it. Very good to here. see you. Yeah. All right, you take Thank care. Thank you for Coach. everything. Yeah. Thank you for everything. We'll be in touch. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Whenever you're ready. Right. Uh, Coach, I uh, want to thank you uh, for getting me into swimming. And just uh, 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 we're all here to tell you uh, how much we love you and Teddy. And I uh, just want to thank you. So. Uh, 50 time trial, 50 time trial. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Hi, Coach. I just wanted to have a couple of quick memories, thinking of things like back at Jack Ross Swim School, morning workouts in the winter, where it was a little bit cold and we'd be scraping frost off of a quarter pit, throwing it at us to get us in the water. Uh, I remember the charades when you didn't have your voice, and I think we had a bark bucket also going around that same time for some of the workouts. Um, I also remember, I think you came back from, maybe it was the City of Commerce Nationals, but where you had a so-called coaches meeting. Coaches, so-called coaches meetings at Nationals when uh, you would come back and hand us all out things from the Pink Pussy Cat Club with little pink feathers, which was, I think, really a strip club. And one of my favorite was also the uh, My Elbow. You drop in your elbow, get your elbow up. I love some of the pictures this weekend of, of your uh, joint the demonstration of the, the High Elbow position, which reminded me that I was always amazed at how well you paid attention to everybody in workout. It's one of my, I think, fastest 400 time ever at a workout, and I'm looking at the clock and going, I think that was just my fastest time ever. And you were right there saying, that's your fastest time ever. How did you see that with everybody else in the water? So, love you, Coach. Thanks for everything for all these years. everybody for the wonderful um, opportunity that we were all given to be here to meet Coach Gambrill again. It has been a wonderful time and I would like to say how fortunate I have been to be under uh, Coach Gambrill's direction and how fortunate I was to swim with him, under him. And I just want to thank everybody for the wonderful uh, opportunity that was given to all of us. It was great to see people from the past. Thank you. Hi coach. I just wanted to say thank you for everything. You're like a second dad to me. And I never would have done what I did without you. And I know at times I was probably a little bit difficult. I know a lot of times I was the last person in the water. I was mad at you that time that you filled up my goggles with oil, and the other time when you kicked me out of workout with my attitude. But despite that, I love every minute of swimming for you. And I realized after having my own my own kid and some of the terrible things that she had, I realize now how lucky I was to have a coach like you. Hi coach, I just want to tell you thank you for everything you did for me. You were my coach, my mentor, my fill-in dad. You changed my life. It never would have been like this if it hadn't been for you. I love you and I appreciate everything you ever did for me. Thank you. And go for it. Hi coach, it's uh, Peggy McLaughlin stays over here. I just wanted to thank you. Um, when I went into St. Joseph Hospital as a manager in business development, they uh, had us during orientation write down 
the five most influential people in our life. And you were number two, right next to my dad, because you taught us at an early age how to set goals, how we can achieve them, never give up, never quit, and you can have anything you want. And I'll never forget the direction that you headed us in at an early age. And um, as one of your swimmers, but not one of your best Olympic swimmers, I just want to let you know that I took that and I used it in my life for years. I used it in all of my businesses and all my uh, extracurricular activities, and it made a difference in my life. So thank you for being one of the most influential people in my life. Love you. Thank you. There you go. Hi, Coach Gambro. Uh, greetings from Colorado. Um, I'm so thankful and honored that our paths crossed, that I had the opportunity to come out here and participate in this program. Uh, honoring you, you've had a tremendous career. Uh, and I am what I am. Because of a lot of the things I learned from you and your hard work and your dedication, and uh, I owe more to you than I could ever say. All right. Thank you very much. I'll send you a, a nice long email with a lot of thoughts that I want to share with you. Best of luck. Tell, tell Teddy hi for me. Thanks. Bye -bye. Hi, Coach. This is Kemla Brecht. When I transferred myself from a YMCA team to AAU age grouping, you had coaching help with my age and were in charge of Commerce City Senior Team. Seeing the faces of your Olympians on Swimming World Magazine, then seeing your senior team win the 65 Short Course Championship inspired me to dream big. I so wanted to be in senior meets, to qualify for nationals, to place top three so I might make an Olympic team and to possibly set national records. After all, I was training with your world record holders. When I tried to keep up with my lane leader and 64 Olympian Sandy Nita, I can't begin to tell you how excited I was to be on my way. All of the older girls on your team were so gracious to us younger newbies. It was kind of you to allow carpooling parents to stay at our practices. How boring for them. But you'd lighten things up once in a while with your clown diving act, with your smile and upbeat attitude. I carpooled with Lynn, Marcia, and Gail. Marcia in particular helped divert our minds from the impending doom of practice with her stories and laughter. My favorite was her beauty tip of using beer cans for hair rollers. My first airplane flight in team uniform was to Bartlesville, Oklahoma in 1966. Whoo wee, big stuff for me to travel out of state to nationals and compete with the top 30 in our nation. I'm certain you noticed that Conoco Phillips was the main sponsor for the nationals in Bartlesville. And who'd ever heard of a big oil company sponsoring a local team? You little maverick, you. In the 68 Olympics, your first Olympic coach assignment, I'll never forget Doug Russell's victory over Mark Spitz. He bowed his head and thanked God right in front of all the TV cameras. That made me realize there are other medals in life that never fade or tarnish in God's eyes. I can't thank you enough for helping make my dreams happen. And in the process of pursuing those dreams, the building blocks of successful character qualities were being laid for an entire lifetime of use. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoyed your day. Just wanted to know what a special man you 
are to us, how you helped us as a father to hear with all things that we went through. You don't make me cry, but <laughs> we love you and we honor you and I'm so glad that you enjoyed your day. So hope to see you again soon. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, love Teddy. You. Thank you, Teddy. <laughs> Thanks so much.